In today's video from Sam Foresta, we're taking a look at the different PLU reports you can run on the ER260 BEJ register. So if you're familiar with the machine, you know that you've got these 15 sales buttons here, which are PLU buttons, which you can program to be preset or open products. Um, each button is a PLU, you've got 15 of them. You've also got PLUs that you can sell by number. And when you sell each PLU, the total sale goes into the financial report at the end of the day, but you can also run uh, separate PLU reports in the X and Z modes. So we'll take a look at the X mode to start with, because that's where most of them are. And just to, to clarify, the difference between X and Z is X gives you the information but doesn't reset it. Um, so it's for um, to see how you're doing over a certain period of time. The Z is the report that resets. So when you're doing your end of day reads, you'll be doing Z reports that wipe the information down. What we're going to look at now is the X reports first of all, and then we'll finish by doing the Z resetting report. And I'll explain at what point you would want to do that. So within X reports, we don't want financial or time. We want PLU. And we've got the first one that comes up is PLU sale. To run the PLU sale report, you press cash until it prints out. I think that was three times. What this is, is this is the PLU sales from the last time that the Z version of the PLU report was run. And what it is, is it's each individual PLU in order of number. So PLU 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on and so on. It shows the total amount of money sold through that PLU and the total number of sales. And then it has the total at the bottom. This information hasn't reset because it's a X report. If we go back a couple of times. You can also run a PLU by group report. So this is the same information over the same time period, but it's just organized the PLUs in terms of their groups. So I've got group one bar. Um, I've got a group two somewhere, tickets. So it's just organized my PLUs by group. Same information, but just organizing it in a slightly different way. That's the theme throughout the PLUs. So there's a not found PLU report, which is more for barcode scanning. Um, best PLU sale, best PLU quantity, and then the same by worse. So best PLU sale is the amount. So it lists the PLUs um, over the same time period, but by value. So it puts the most amount of money at the top. You also get one, come back too far, by quantity. So you run the best PLU report and it shows you the PLUs in order of the quantity sold. And then it does the same for worst PLU by um, sale amount and quantity. And then a PLU last report sold. So this is where you want to look at a specific PLU and see the last time you sold it. If we come out of the X mode and then go to one more, yeah, go to Z mode. Z reports, PLU, there should only be, yeah, there's only one PLU report you can run in the in the Z mode. Um, I'll run it. What this will have done is this will have reset all the PLU data. So you'd use this if you were running your PLU sales report as part of a routine, maybe once a week, once a month, once a quarter. You would run this report to see how many you've sold of each PLU over a given time, and then it resets the data. So if we run that report again, it's going to be all at zeros because we've zedded it. And likewise, if we go back into the X mode and try and run one of our PLU reports in there, this will also be totally empty because we haven't sold anything since the last time the PLU file was zedded. When you zed the PLU file, it doesn't affect any of the other reports you can do. So you can still come out of PLU. You can still run a sale um, sorry, a report by group or time, all the reports run independently of each other, so it wouldn't affect your financial total. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. As I say, we've got plenty of other videos showing you how to set up your PLUs and also how to use them. Those videos will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.